and welcome to my cooking show. Just kidding. But I am going to show you guys how to make one of my favorite recipes today. I originally found this on allrecipes.com. It was called creamy chicken ranch or creamy ranch chicken with carrots over rice. And I've modified it slightly. Um, I will link, uh, Campbell's also has a variation of this recipe on their website. I will link something down below, but I'm going to show you the way I do it. I Once I found this recipe, it's very simple and it can be made with entirely pantry group ingredients. I was so hooked and I make this all the time for, um, it's usually my go-to meal when I have guests over. Um, it's also something that I can whip up really quick is a kind of a hospitality meal in case someone I know um, has a tragedy in their family or something like that or you know a celebration like a baby and I can whip this up put it in an aluminum foil pan bring it to them and they can just heat it it's awesome for that it's also pretty cheap so I'm gonna go over the ingredients real quick this recipe has also been requested a lot because I put it in my meal plan a lot so uh, the first thing you need is rice. You can do brown or white. It literally does not matter. And you serve this dish over rice. So it's um, kind of a ratio thing. I usually cook about three cups of rice for the portion that I'm making. Like I said, this recipe has been in my head so long that I don't measure anything anymore. It's all just eyeballing. The second thing you're going to need is chicken. Now, you can <laughs> use canned chicken for this. If I have fresh chicken on hand, I use it, obviously. It's always going to taste better with fresh chicken. However, if you do not have the time to cook up your chicken, a can will totally work. And I have to tell you, it since it's going to be mixed into your sauce, it's canned is fine. I've made it with canned a thousand times. So, canned, fresh, shredded chicken of any variety or denomination. Alright, next you are going to need some carrots. Once again, these can be fresh or from a can. Does not matter. I actually have some in my fridge that I cooked um, last week. I need to use them up, so I'm probably going to put those and most of this can in there. Um, yeah, carrots. <laughs> uh, oh, if you do use freshly shredded, not cooked carrots, it's going to take longer to cook, but that's okay. It's going to be delicious if you do that. All right, next you're going to need some cream of mushroom soup or a homemade, um, basically, version of this. Now, I've used, I have another video where I show you how to make a uh, basically powdered cream of mushroom substitution mix. It's, of course, health, healthier than out of the can. Today, I'm just going to make it from the can because I'm out of the mix, but I need to make some more of that soon. So, cream of mushroom soup mix. You're also going to need some milk and if you run out of actual milk uh, soy milk or powdered milk can work in this as well uh, it's a very versatile recipe you're also going to need some ranch powder or actual ranch this is usually better and that is it so all pantry ingredients basically it's up to milk and I usually have at least some milk on hand so I'm going to show you how to make creamy chicken Creamy ranch chicken <laughs> and carrots over rice. Make your white or brown rice according to package directions. I usually make about three cups to, for this amount of food that I'll be making. Next, you're going to want to open and drain all of your cans, chicken, vegetables, etc. The less liquid that's in here, the less soupy this mix is going to be. Turn your stove on high and add some oil to the bottom of your pan and let it heat up, spread thoroughly, and then add your chicken. You're gonna to wanna to smash it up if it's been in a can um, and really get a lot of surface area browned. Uh, the better it's brown, the better it's going to taste. Once it's nice and crispy, and this will add a lot of texture to the dish, I go ahead and add my cream of mushroom soup, and then I use my milk pour straight into the can to uh, better extract all of the soup. And you're going to use about the same amount of 
milk or other liquid as you are cream with mushroom soup. Add your carrots and any onions at this time. This dish can also be very good with onions, or you can sub out corn. It's also pretty good with that. Or peas. Pretty much any singular vegetable. I wouldn't mix any together. That's not as good. Add your ranch. In this case, I didn't have enough of either the bottle or the powder, so I'm using both. And I added some milk to the ranch container to get all of it out. And I'm adding a little bit of black pepper and garlic because I add that to everything. Stir well to combine, then cut your burner down to medium on mine, it's about a five or a six, and cover. Let simmer for um, about 10 to 15 minutes, but stir regularly. If the bottom burns, your sauce will be ruined. Then you're going to want to just cut it down to about two and let it simmer some more as it thickens. And you want this to be a nice, thick sauce. I also tend to add some parsley flakes just for some color. And it probably adds just a little kick of flavor too. At this point, your rice should probably be done. Go ahead and spoon some out into the bottom of a bowl or plate. And add your delicious sauce on top. You can add a little bit more salt or pepper to taste. And enjoy your delicious meal. And that is how you make creamy uh, ranch chicken and carrots over rice. It is the best comfort food. It's creamy. It's uh, just a little, has a little bit of a kick of spice from the ranch. And um, it keeps really well too. You can dump the rice into the sauce, mix it all together, which is normally what I do. I'm having people over, I'll let people portion out their own rice and then top it, but then later just mix it together, stick it in the freezer. It's excellent cold, um, and it's just, it is one of my favorite dishes of all time. Mm. Enjoy.